Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Global Granada Campaign. In the last episode we won a glorious war against Tunisia and now Tripoli will fall beneath our mighty feet. We are moving towards forming Morocco. No progress? Oh no, that's, uh, that's the one we just started. That's fine. Okay. I'm concerned that this doesn't count as Morocco. Even though it's highlighted in the, in the zone, it's definitely highlighted. I'm so confused as to why it says 14. In fact, I'm so confused I'm going to report it because it might be a bug. Because look, it's counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've got 21 provinces in this region. Color me confused. State war contributions. Excellent. We've got some Grenadan peasants. That's not very common. Where are they? Here? What's up? Ah, uh, the Pretender. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Shouldn't be an issue. So the, the new power structure in Iberia is not to our advantage, except the Portuguese-British alliance. Because if we can get a large enough fleet, that means Portugal is ours. Yeah, I hadn't considered that. How is Britain's fleet... They currently have 23 ships, 10 light ships, 2 galleys. Plus Portugal's 5 light ships. They have 15 light ships, 5 galleys. That's beatable. That's eminently beatable. Oh, There's our angle. Okay. The glorious shipwrights of Granada will lead us to victory over the heathens to the north with their pretenses of reconquista. I was having some interesting discussions over in the, uh, the Historical Realm Facebook group, which is, uh, if you're not familiar, you should join. It's fun. Uh, we do lots of chatting about history stuff, and it's a bunch of... Oh, hello. Uh, a bunch of people who like Paradox games chatting about history. It's fun. We were talking about Reconquista, and I don't think the Reconquista was such. Uh, the, the claim... And I'm not saying it's just role-playing as the Muslims in this scenario. I actually mean this. Like, Castile, when they reconquered, quote-unquote, Granada, Castile never owned Granada. Castile it came out of Asturias. Asturias never owned Granada. And the Castilians... I suppose the Castilians' claim is they're the successors of the Visigoths, and therefore they have some kind of decent claim to retake Granada. If they're going to come and siege us, I think we need to keep sieging them to get this war over sooner. Uh, but that's that's nonsense. Castile wasn't a bunch of Visigoths retaking Visigothic land. They were entirely different people. I was thinking about this in the British context as well, because Britain, uh, quote unquote, you know, Wessex and stuff, retook the Danelaw land, the land that the uh, the Norwegians and the Danes took from England. Well, took in what is today England, but really that wasn't a reconquest either. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't think really. Do I want to take this? This looks good. Yeah, we'll take the piece now to avoid them sieging down our lands. But I don't think that was a reconquest either, because Wessex never owned York. Oh, I meant to take this province from Tunis. Oh well, you guys can now march on home. Noble always return. We treat their soldiers well. Spoils of war. Ooh, we've may fill the mission. Which one? Places to worship. Have three temples. Nice. Divide the cost of 15 years. Sounds good. So now if we have 40 piety and a theologian, or less piety than zero and a natural scientist or an astronomer, we can probably do that right now. And uh, it doesn't look like we can, actually. Shame. We should fire our military advisor. Well, no. He's so cost-effective, and I like being really, really far ahead on Miltech. It's fun. So we can crush these guys neath our mighty tread. You need to go privateer. Veteranian. All right, let's speed up time. Fantastic. Yeah, but because you see my point, right? So the Visigothic kingdom of Iberia, I know very little about. But one thing I do know about it is it wasn't Asturias. You know, it fell and Asturias rose from the ashes. Uh, Asturias being the Christian kingdom which occupied this area up here, which would later split into Galicia, Leon, Castile, and Navarra. Or was Navarra a different kingdom entirely? I'm not certain. And then the, f you know, and then the Barcelona and Aragon has even less claim of Reconquista, because Barcelona and Aragon were two kingdoms over here, uh, 
which retook land from the, well, quote-unquote, retook land from the Sunnis. Uh, but Aragon was created out of land that France controlled. Nothing to do with the Visigoths. Unless the Visigoths also founded France. Which I don't think they did. But I could be wrong about that. Maybe the Visigoths had ties to France. But still, you know, Aragon was not a Visigothic kingdom retaking Visigothic land. So then the claim changes. Uh, is it reconquest because they're conquering land formerly held by Christians? But I think that claim kind of sucks as well. Because just because it's held by your religion and now it's held by a different religion, I don't think that gives your religion a right to take it back. I don't think religions have land rights, if that makes sense. Which I think it definitely does. <laughs> I don't see why a religion would have a right to a certain area of land. Do we want to take this ahead of time? No particular reason to. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the Reconquista. I think in England, it might be a... I think there's a better case for the land being quote-unquote reconquered. It wasn't exactly reconquered. But it was... Uh, I suppose, okay, here's how you can see both the conquest of the land, the Danelaw area and the quote-unquote Reconquista. They're both, they can both accurately be described as continuations of an ongoing conflict. It definitely wasn't just a random thing for a story to take this land. It was a continuation of a religious conflict in this case, and partly a religious conflict. When the Danelaw was retaken, had the Vikings converted to Christianity by then? I think no, right? But I'm not certain. It's a continuation of an ongoing cultural and religious conflict. But that doesn't make it reconquest, in my view. Anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. Tunisia, not Tunisia, Naples. You should attack Aragon and take Sicily from them to weaken them. Sicily is so urbanized, it's making them very wealthy. Hmm. Who should we be spying on? Tunis, right? Yeah. I want a claim on this province, and I want some claims uh, on Tripoli as well. We'll do that after we get a claim on Tlemcen. I think we just want one claim on Tlemcen. When's the uh, Tlemceni truce? Uh, not for a while. Fair enough. Mmm, good point. The Triple Italian truce is rather short. There will still be time for them to go under 50 aggressive expansion, though, fortunately. Any decisions we want to do right now? I don't think so. I could start doing automated construction. Oh, I still haven't changed it. I need to make it so you can do it when you're uh, you're at war. Do we want to uh, do any stability policies right now? I mean, we've got no manpower to give up, so this one seems good. We could also turn this on once the uh, once we form Morocco. I'm not bothering to centralize the states, uh, and I actually took an event to take a hit to centralization because forming Morocco is going to give us ten. Sorry, absolutism. As it says in that tooltip, but actually, centralization is what it means. Okay, it's favors time. Hey, Graters, how much do you want? Just more than we have, but we'll have enough next month, so let's do it. Cool. Good old input lag. Uh, burgers, I don't think I want to offer you a favor. You're perfectly content with your lot right now. Nah, the ship. We are going to have to consider the possibility that we should be doing something other than privateering. Uh, I think once we finish building up to the force limit, I will send the trips, troops around the place. And by troops, of course, I mean boats. And figure out where the uh, the best place to have them would be. It's possible protecting in uh, Iberia would be valuable right now, but I kind of doubt it. There's just so much more money in the Tyrrhenian. that I think it's unlikely we'd do better somewhere else. Can we collect in France right now? Because maybe we should be collecting... Mm, yeah, maybe we should collect here. Right, making 0 0.04 here. And if I collect with you up there instead, let's have a look. Countries wish to hire. Condottiari. Well, that's tempting. Look, it was 0.1. I mean, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Pisa, we won't have land access to them. Christianity decline. Finally, it started. It's the first time we've seen this event, I think. Can't search that province, unfortunately, but that's okay. I could look for it. There it is. Nice. Growing Sunni minority. Fantastic. We're going to start seeing lots of those Christianity decline events here, here, here. I think these two are eligible as well. 
We don't have these full cores. We might want to consider that some of them are approaching the point where we should. Not quite yet. Oh, this one's close, actually. These ones are full cord. Do, 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 do. Okay, how are those Moroccan cores? Half done. It's going to be time. I wonder if Morocco has a different map color. They probably do. Which is a shame. I don't want, I, I like my map color. France is reconquering against Burgundy. <clears throat> time for Diplotech. Fantastic. The fact that we're basically always going to be ahead of time on Miltech is nice. It means we're going to get uh, just steady innovativeness growth. Which is uh, pretty sweet, if you ask me. Doo -doo. Okay, there we go. No longer ahead of time on admin, so I will grab this. Oh no! Crash on the autosave. That is deeply unfortunate. Well, I will... Uh, I will edit out this section. Ah, thank you very much for watching the first half. In but a moment with the magic of editing, I shall be back. Alright, welcome back. Hopefully that was but a moment for you. It took a little while longer for me. I reran the last six months, just so we don't get exactly the same crash. And I took the tech again, so we're now ahead of time, giving us that lovely... Uh, what is it, production efficiency? Yeah, production efficiency bonus. Fantastic. So, uh, naval ideas time, I guess. And we will want to take the first two. Uh, colonial range, I suppose, is a little helpful. Uh, not not massively, but there you go. And shell-built ships. Oh, hey, nice. New trade ships. In that case, I think I will stop building that one that I just started. Build the new and improved Sembuk. Fantastic. At some point, I might, when we have a bit more money, I might want to sell a bunch of the old ships and then uh, replace them with the newest model. But I don't think that's necessary for now. In case you're wondering, by the way, whenever the screen scrolls to the right like that, it's usually because I'm uh, fiddling with something in OBS. 10% will be converted to state religion. Oh no, heretic faith. Heretic faith in some of them, state religion in others. We'll fight their influence then. Another trade ship off to the Tyrrhenian. Phenomenal. Good on peasants ticking down now. Looks like those pretenders have settled down. Accepted their lot. Fantastic. Almost time for the claim on Tlemcen. Truce with them a little while longer. Let's put, uh, let's put core constructions on here. You can see the Moroccan cores getting closer and closer there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Really enjoying this campaign at the moment. I hope you are too. Looking forward very much to being able to colonize. Oh, the Castilians. Right, I remember this. This happened uh, while I was getting everything back to where we were. Castile did inherit the Canaries. We we'll want to take that from them for the trade range. We really want to try and clamp down on any Iberian colonization of the New World, because they'll send all their darn Catholics over there. We don't want the natives to accept some heretic nonsense. We want to accept the one true faith of Allah. So we're going to do what we can to uh, ensure that happens. Uh, another trade ship. We are at the cap now, so time to sell the galley, I think. Do -do. We don't need more claims on Clemson. We'll start building him right away. Hey, Provence. Oh, Provence exists. And they're a vassal of Occitania. Did that change, or is that new in the patch, maybe? Or does it, I mean, did, this, did the personal union... Was it a personal union? Or was it vassalage? I don't recall. Either way, do you want to buy a galley? They do. We'll give it to them cheap. That's fine. Okay. Ah, oh, something I didn't do after the uh, last crash. I should probably save. Well, no, it's fine. The auto saves. Got it covered. We could send missionaries to our neighbours right now. Might bait Castile into declaring war on us for their allies. Do 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 do. Can't do it because we need higher religious unity. Yeah, fair enough. How about mediating? I don't want to take the improved relations hit right now, actually. I think it's more important that we keep that high just to get the aggressive expansion ticking down so we can continue our consolidation of the uh, the Maghreb. And then I suppose we will be moving over towards uh, the Mamluks. War with the Mamluks will be a big deal. I'm hopeful that we could get Ottoman support for that. Ooh, they actually don't have all their alliance slots filled out. Let's make a play for an Ottoman alliance. 
a long-term Ottoman alliance seems very valuable. So the Servians didn't, re didn't uh, reform their empire in this one, unfortunately. Aragon is embargoing us. Are they our rival? Excuse me a sec. Pardon me. Ah, I said to sneeze. So Aragon is not currently our rival, but neither is Tripoli. Uh, of the two, Tripoli seems the sensible choice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So let's rival Tripoli. And then we will uh, embargo them. Do, 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 do. Can't, of course, because we have a truce. No matter. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Do, 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 do. Getting towards the formation of Morocco. Not looking forward to losing our glorious green colour, but I have to assume re-establishing the emirate, the caliphate of Cordoba. We'll get it back. Oh, wait, we can do this if we just own Tunisia. Hey, nice. We'll become an empire, new national ideas, permanent claim on Andalusia, Maghreb, Maghreb al Asar, Maghreb al Aswat, Maghreb al Adana, Toledo, and Ad Alenchen, that one. <laughs> so, of course, we could conquer all these areas first and get a core. Because uh, if you own the province, you get a core. If you don't own it, you get a permanent claim. But we're just going to go and use the permanent claims, I think. So we should definitely try and take Tunis in our next war so we can re-establish that caliphate. Hopefully, we will uh, have a little bit more centralization cap by the time we take this. So the 10 absolutism, sorry, centralization. It calls it, it's very confusing how it calls it absolutism here. I assume that's just a limitation in how the game works. Rather than the devs just, the M&T devs just mixing it up. Seems unlikely. Uh, hey, Ottomans. We are, we recognize your right as the, uh, the Sultanate of Rum. Love us. What else is going on in the world? Take a look at it. looks like the Papal State has uh, reclaimed most of its Roman territories. Uh, what else? Poland's still big with that Hungarian rulership. The White Horde did still split up, despite staying true to the shamanist roots. Muscovy looking pretty beefy over here. Not down here. Persia. Oh, Persia still exists, but is no longer Zoroastrian. More's the pity. More's the pity. Anything else interesting going on in the world? Oh, England took some, uh, some of the lowlands of Scotland. Denmark advancing a bit. Everything else looks fairly standard. Quite a unified Netherlands under Burgundy. That looks like France has something to say about that. Is that plague still ravaging around here? Oh, look at all that plague damage. My lord. Poor India. Millions dead in that, if I had to guess. Plagues in India. So, so devastating. We are now <laughs> the most powerful trade power in the Tyrrhenian Sea. Wasn't I switching this guy over? Ah, it must have been before the crash. Alright, so go collect over here instead. We were making 0.04. Let's see if we make a bit more. Collecting the English Channel. We might want to privateer the English Channel, actually. Mmm, interesting possibility. It's very wealthy. Not as wealthy as the Tyrrhenian. But uh, there's some kind of stacking penalty when you put more and more trade ships in an area. It makes sense usually to spread them out. I don't claim to understand exactly why, but uh, take it from me. That is a thing. Professionalism up to 20% yet? No. Come on, you guys. Drill. It is going to take a long time to get our professionalism up. They've slowed down the uh, professionalism increase in uh, 2.5. At least I'm pretty sure they have. It certainly feels that way. And I know they were aware you could get professionalism too quickly before. So a royal marriage will be how we... Uh, how we get the alliance. Looks like we're gonna struggle to get that though. As we keep moving east though, ooh, I haven't seen this event before. The proud banners of our nation flutter in the wind and gilded trumpets blow four blast salutes, honoring our equestrian elites. The air is filled with the smells of roasted almonds, horses and intrigue. Our cultural and military prominence are truly boons to our nation and nowhere is this more real than here today. How do you wish to spend your day at the tournament? Watch your air joust. 5% chance he dies, 45% chance we get 20 legitimacy, 50% chance we get some cash. Whew. 
Brag about our cultural accomplishments. 20 admin power. Or simply enjoy the day. Go on, air. I believe in you. The cash rather than legitimacy. That's okay. <laughs> so presumably you get more legitimacy if he wins. Does that mean we bet against our air? <laughs> Sorry, we won when we didn't get the prestige. That is the logical conclusion that I can think of. <laughs> hmm. Do, do, do. To the Tyrannian. 80%. Almost able to form Morocco. Burger citizenship has expired. I might re up that immediately. I really want more stability so we can revoke some privileges. Guilt free here. I'm currently keeping the lesser nobles loyal. Maybe that's a mistake. There are so few of them. Maybe I should just demote my way through. I think we should do this now. Uh, we'll get some disloyalty from the Lesser Nobles, but that's okay. They're very cheap to give gifts to at the moment. I'm not going to tank it all the way down to zero and keep it at zero. It's just the, the spot rebellions you get from doing that is just too painful. For us right now, I think. Nice income. Maybe we should give some more money to the court. Oh, the court is shabby! I didn't notice. Ah! We can't have that. Two more ducats. And a stipend. And more stipends. All the way up to uh, to 80. Okay, is it, is it actually shabby right now? Yeah. Must be, right? Do, 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 do. Admirable culture. Just your... Yeah, shabby court. No, we can't have that. Improve relations hit. And stability increase hit. We can't have that at all. We are blasphemous, apparently. Religious scandal? We'll just take the different point here, that's fine. So how about education? I've got money to burn, baby. So do we want to bump our education level? Honestly, no. Uh, the autonomy is far more hard-hitting than tech right now. Though it is improving in a lot of places here. Almost down to 50 here, I might want to full core this. In fact, I will full core it now, so, so I don't miss it when it actually happens. Gets down to 50, same logic here. Uh, we do have full cores on some of this land over here, yeah. Exquisite. How are our stability points? Are we almost there? We should be approaching another stability level, I think, right? Yeah, very close. Sweet. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the colonies pop up is, by the way. I think you can subsidize them autom automatically through that. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, only 25% reduced stability and no financial havoc and no unrest. So that was very good. Uh, very good privilege refusal timing. Not timing, but uh, situation. It's, it's, I don't understand it. It's partly based on their loyalty, it's partly based on something else. I don't know. The Yenna. Good lord. The Yan <laughs> Yatenga Naba of Yatenga have converted to the Sunni faith. Good for them. Good for us. Good for the Sunni faith. Do have manpower low still, obviously. Not for long, though. Once we, uh, once we consolidate for Morocco, get all those cores, it'll be great. Maybe I shouldn't core these ones, actually. I mean, we're currently not, anyway. So, yeah, let's not core this area, because uh, we're going to get free cores on it when we take over... We form Cordoba. So we have 20 naval force limit, it looks like. Is that right? Yes, indeed. Meaning we can take a naval doctrine. I think... Uh, we should go Merchant Navy. It does cost a lot of money because of our sailor count. We have a capacity of 2,000 sailors. No, we don't. Weird. Uh, oh, your Navy has a capacity of that many sailors. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure... The uh, the trade power increase is going to be more w more worthwhile than a fifteen percent reduction on this, but let's look. Let's take the time here. It's a thirty three percent increase. It's got to be right. Well, we'll see. Two point three eight, one point six one. So, yeah, we want merchant navy. We can take wooden wall if we have sheltered ports, which is the next one here, which could be useful in situations, some situations, but for now, merchant navy is the way we're going to go. So, 2.38 goes to... Oh yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. And we'll get sheltered ports. 
which will, once we get to level 16, unlock exploration ideas. Nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. We could focus down Diplo. We should actually. Let's focus on Diplo Tech, or Diplo Points that is, so that we can, uh, you know, it's a while before we're going to get the idea group that will actually let us, but we want to have a huge store of diplomatic points once we actually do get it, because then... Messin, really? Interesting. There's a bit of a bug in the HRE in this patch, by the way, public service announcement. Uh, they, you're pretty much always going to get the weak Emperor modifier because it's based on, uh, you have to have more than 100 development, and it's in the base game, and they, they're finding it hard to change right now. Uh, the MT devs, that is. So, it's a bit of a, a bit of a tough situation, but there you go. Good on peasants rising again? Oh, yes, of course, because of the lesser noble disloyalty. But we've made them more influential now, that's good. And we can give them gifts. Pretty cheap, so we're going to do that soon. Just working on the greater nobles' loyal, uh, autonomy is very important. So I, I assume the huge autonomy down here is uh, tribal. It is, but look at that tribal settlement. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. That's good. So we're working on... Uh, just because the tribes are so phenomenally loyal, we're working nicely on them uh, settling in our lands. Look at the size of their, tri their levy. So good. We will do a campaign as a tribe at some point, for sure. I don't know when, but uh, it will definitely happen. Because it will be fun. I guess the uh, the White Horde is the obvious choice, but uh, I don't know. If you have any suggestions for who I should play as a tribe, do, uh, do hit me up. Let's get this. Try and get ahead of time on Diplotech if we can. Latin rigging. Ooh, so close to forming Morocco. I'm excited. Should happen this episode. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da. Right, so I was going to play around a bit. We do collect more if we send them up here. With sending our ships to different locations. So let's give that a go. 2.96. If we were to send a contingent, say, 5, to the Western Med, would that be profitable? Let's have a look. They've definitely had time to arrive in the right area. Exactly the same! <laughs> what are the odds? Oh, is it 2.98 actually? Alright, well, with it being that close, we'll just stay in the terrain for now. Oh, I could try sending them to the channel though. Let's do that. We can't reach the channel. What? I can reach the North Sea, but not the Channel. Excuse me? Oh, right, because it's not called the Channel. It's called the Northwest Atlantic. Let's do that, then. Give it a go. They have time to arrive? Yes, they definitely arrived, I think. Mm, much better. Nice. All right, we'll send over a couple more, then. You guys. Uh, let's split half and half. No, not quite half and half, because the Channel is worth less, generally. I'm going to keep calling it the Channel. I'm not saying that as like a, I plan to keep calling it the channel. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> that is likely to happen. <laughs> I'll get used to it being the Northwest Atlantic eventually. When you spend, you know, three and a half thousand hours playing a game, you get kind of stuck in your ways. So the Ottomans are fully improved, still not in range for this. Oh, so close. Don't have a uh, Diplo rep guy right now. We don't have a guy for that mission either. Faith's Bastion, what's this need? Defender of the Faith, right. They need to remove that one. Uh, they're aware of the fact that that mission needs removing. Since it makes no sense. Because you can't be Defender of the Faith in M&T right now. I don't know if they're working on that. I'd like to see a Defender of the Faith system. Uh, it should be different from how it is in vanilla, though. It's kind of ludicrous that, like, Castile's like, oh, yes, we're the Defender of the Faith. So when, like, Muscovy declares war on uh, Lithuania, Castile's like, hell yeah. <laughs> Get Put me in, coach. That makes no sense, but oh well. Mm. I guess it would make sense in the later stages of the game, when uh, empires were more more global influences. But I mean, in the 15th century, Castile getting involved in a war with Lithuania just doesn't seem plausible. Unless there was a crusade or something. 
But then Castile didn't get involved in the Crusades around Lithuania. Uh, obviously, we'll press the issue. Nice. Reclaim on Tripolitania. Sorry, Tripoli. Same thing. Excuse me a second. Nice. Stability. Getting conquest. Ideal. Germany stabilizing the country should help with those uh, Moroccan separatists. Moroccan separatists? But whatever do you mean? We are Morocco. We need a statesman? No, we don't, because we have the six leader now. Phenomenal. Wait, what? Oh, no, okay, you need admin skill and a statesman fight. Okay. So we couldn't have done it earlier anyway. He's not a statesman. You're fired. We need a statesman. We need to get rid of this darn shabby court, giving us only two optional advisors. Two options, that is, of advisors. We should we should have a higher court level. Excuse me. No, it's 15 to 30. Ah! We should raise it a whole bunch more. All right, more funding. I tend to find slightly less than a month's income is enough for the court. Obviously, that's very rough and ready kind of number play, but there you go. So we now don't have the money to uh, hire a statesman even if we get him, but that's okay. We're making cash. So, once this core updates, should be in a good place to be able to form the Sultanate. Nice. Did we get a uh, statesman? No, he's a treasurer guy. We'll need to fire him. Could take some cash from the burgers to help us cycle through until we can get the right guy. I think I'm going to do that. You're fired. Next guy. Statesman? No advisor. Shame. I don't understand uh, advisor generation in MT very well. It's certainly different from normal, but not really sure how it functions. Because in, in vanilla, it just automatically gives you advisors up to your cap. And sometimes it seems to do that in MT, and sometimes it doesn't. We're making nice money now. Yes, we are glorious. Plus, we should be making some. Uh... Who did we? Who did we embargo? Uh, I mean, who did we rival again? Remind me. No, okay. So we're not going to privateer Castile. So we're not going to get much or any privateering cash right now. Could we take their navies yet? We no manpower, so it's you know it's not relevant for us right now. But I think we could take the combined British and Portuguese navy. Mm, maybe not. Their trade ships are probably better than ours. Uh, because Britain and Portugal get better trade ships generally than, uh, than Granada does just because of the tech groups. Oh, uh, I don't think I mentioned. In the off-camera section, we did modernize along Turkish lines. So we have the Turkish idea, uh, troops and boats and all that good stuff. France is now considered a great power. Welcome, France. We are presumably getting up there. Yeah, extremely close to becoming a great power. Nice. Very nice. We, uh, we aren't embargoing Castile and Portugal? That seems deeply wrong. Let me just, uh, correct what I'm sure is a mistake there. Uh, we will remain tolerant for now, much as it pains me. Corrupt advisor. The collector dies. That's actually good. Oh, wrong guy. I thought he was a collector. No, he's an artist. Okay. I really don't want a level 2 advisor. That sucks. I don't like that it restricts which advisors you can take. You should be able to take whatever you want. Oh well. We will live with it. Mm. Give me a level 1, please. Right, I'll fire one of these guys, I guess. Do, 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 do. He's a high judge. I thought he was a statesman for a second. I'm gonna fire him. Has it reset? Hasn't reset the calculation yet. I really hope this plant area can here counts as Morocco. Uh, liberal Sharia law. We only have the choice of liberal and uh, sole power for the government. Sure, we'll go with liberal. He's a lawgiver. Nice. Nice modifiers on that one. Um, I will take claim on the higher dev province, please. Phenomenal. Do, do, do. There goes the truce with Tripoli. Kind of want to go to war with them immediately, but with no manpower, doesn't seem like the most advisable thing to do. Well, then again, how many men does Tripoli really have? 
Like none, right? Well, 4k. Not none. We'll probably try and form Morocco first, I think. There's aggressive expansion to burn down anyway. Level 1 advisor. Thank you. Why judge again? You're fired. Please recalculate and tell me we have the right number of cores. I swear I do. Hmm. This confuses me. I do have the right number of cores in the area shown. We can take tech ahead of time, and we'll be the first in the world, so we will, even though it's going to waste uh, some points. Quite a lot of points, but just working on that innovativeness. New state available. Well... Mercia is tempting, but it's not very urbanized. So... Down here, perhaps? Some urban development. I think this inland area doesn't know. Yeah, some urban development here and here. It's so autonomous right now. Maybe over here? Some nice urban development. And there's more here. Oh, there's so much urban development in this province. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll go with this one. Oh, I can't, because I'm caught up there. Okay. Um, let's go with this inland state then, actually. Central Morocco. Oh, we haven't got calls here yet. Okay, we can't make the states yet. Never mind, never mind. Won't worry about that for a bit then. How is our nail force limit? Should be ticking up. Yes, good. We're now uh, back up to just at force limit rather than slightly over it. Exquisite. Do, do, do. Please, give me a friggin' statesman. Ah, it's not a statesman. Has it recalculated? It hasn't. Concerns me. All right, well, I'm going to end the episode. I'm going to reload and see if that makes it recalculate and tells us we have the right number of cores. It really, really, really should. But either way, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. Do please like the video if you liked it. It helps out a great deal. And